Hi everybody, this is Titi Readings and this reading is going to be for Scorpio. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Let's see what are the messages that pop out for you, Scorpio. Check out the link in the description box. It's going to take you to the extended. In the extended, we will clarify more for the person you're connecting with. Okay, Four of Pentacles came out. Um, how are they thinking, feeling about you, their next moves towards you? Outcome of the situation, advice, oracle messages, love notes, as well as guidance from the universe for you, and additional messages from your parson. So do check it out. It is going to be linked below for further guidance. Now that Four of Pentacles, holding back, holding back. I see you holding back, Scorpio. Okay. I see you in an energy of, I don't want to be dealing with this. I did a Pisces reading where the energy was very similar. So you could be dealing with the Pisces or maybe you have that in your chart. <clears throat> Somebody maybe was giving you breadcrumbs in a situation. Okay. And then you just closed off. But whoever you're connecting with Scorpio, this person is very interested in you. Oh, I just said that and we have the Ace of Wands. So the energy of passion, right? The energy of passion. Uh, feeling that drive. Okay, now this could be, this is your energy as well. In regards to you looking forward to a new future here for yourself. Okay, something transformative going on here. Now, when it comes to your Parsons energy, Sagittarius, it's more like wanting to connect with you again. All right, let's see. Ace of Swords. <clears throat> I think, uh, Scorpio, sometimes you want to say something to this person, but then you hold back. Then you tell yourself, no, 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 I'm not going to say that. I'm going to keep it to myself. Um, you're, you're hoping and seeking for clarity. Okay. You want clarity in a certain situation. For some of you, you have given yourself that closure to move on from something right now with the judgment energy, Scorpio. Deciding, I think this is something from the past okay that has troubled you or that you are keeping on hold to me it doesn't really look like you're letting it go to me it looks like you are putting it on hold or not choosing to deal with it at the minute okay but that doesn't change the fact that there's love all around the situation hmm Silence, silence, and silence. Um, I think you're very silent. There was love here between the two of you in the past, but somebody started acting up, okay? Some, somebody started distancing themselves. Now, with the hermit and the moon energy, hmm. I think you're very silent, Scorpio, and it's that silently contemplating, silently... Um thinking okay silently trying to get out of a certain situation it's like finding a way out of something you feel like this person hides things from you you feel like this person keeps secrets from you okay but Scorpio, sometimes it's, it's just a thing where you, even though you might have tried to walk away from this person, you haven't been able to completely walk away from them, okay? And, you know, sometimes you do wonder a lot about them. But you, for you to give in to the situation, you want them to be honest with the Knight of Cups. So you still have love for this person, okay? But it's just that I see you being in that energy where you're like, should I? Should I? No, I probably shouldn't. I've got things to do. I see you focused on your stability. I see you focused on your finances, on more practical things. 
there's also a decision you are making in terms of like something major going on in your life scorpio okay it's like you wonder and you are thinking about this love situation because it seems to be a little bit emotionally all over the place not gonna lie somebody's emotions are are all over the place <sighs> to me it looks like you're like hmm i have love for this person i want to reconnect with them but is it worth it or is this person going to be honest with me it's like you remember something from the past and you're like, no, I'm good. <laughs> Your person is keeping a close eye on you, Scorpio, okay? Uh, see with the uh, King of Pentacles. So, Scorpio, your focus is a lot on your money, on your finances, on your goals, on things that, you know... Mm, more so looking like financial things for some of you i also see you being a little bit isolated so it's like you socialize and then you go back and you're like wait i just need some time for myself so you're spending a lot of time in solitude you're spending a lot of time um by yourself okay and I see you also standing your ground, okay? In the past, you were just open and willing to be very vulnerable, okay? But now it's a little bit of a guarded approach to a certain situation, all right? Person is stalking you like nobody's business. They're, it's like they, they're looking at your, either they're looking at your pictures on social media or they're looking at your pictures in their phone. Knight of Cups, King of Cups. There is love in the air here. Ace of Cups, not to forget, right? I think you... Scorpio are more emotionally invested in this than your person or at least I'm gonna say you seem to be more deeply invested in this but right now you're silent you're trying to mentally withdraw from the situation because first of all it looks like you've got a lot on your plate it looks like you've got things to do you've got responsibilities you've got bills to pay you've got stuff to do point blank period and in the middle of all of it, you do not want added stress. But to me, it's, it's, it's still looking like Scorpio. You're looking back. You're wanting to reconnect with somebody. It would be nice if you two just reconnected, right? Um, so I see you being in that kind of an energy. Okay. Let's see. We've got the Temperance, the Queen of Cups with the Eight of Wands. Yeah communication with the star could be an aquarius there you are with the tower okay so there was an ending here there was something uh that came to an end here between you and this person and i feel like that you just had a sudden awakening scorpio or you just woke up to the reality you took your rose colored glasses off um and that caused distance whatever happened in the past but let me tell you something it looks like you both are really passionate about one another or passionately in love eight of wands queen of cups and the temperance wow who actually okay let me tell you something i just take that back who actually <laughs> scorpio King of Cups, Queen of Cups. Do you see that? Okay, that is par couple right there. Okay. You two are divine counterparts to one another. But I feel like there is distance. There could be physical distance or just, I don't know, feeling distant from one another. And I need to be patient with this. Mm -hmm. 
Because eventually you two will end up together. You two will end up talking to one another again. It's just a matter of time. Let me tell you that. Yeah, because feelings, emotions, you know, wanting to be with one another. Right. What is this moon card here for? I also feel like Scorpio in this time period you have dropped your friendships or people who no longer serve you or serve you. <laughs> who am I talking to? People who no longer make you happy, not serve you. Like serve a purpose in your life. You know what I mean? No as in, you know. You you got my point. The fool. Okay. So, you know what, Scorpio, to me, this looks like this is a situation where there was some toxicity in this. But you're willing to be in this. You're temporarily detached. But you still miss the connection. You miss... Ooh, you miss it. With the Ace of Pentacles and the Five of Swords. Who is playing games? There has been a missed opportunity here due to somebody playing games. But let me tell you something, that opportunity is still coming your way. Now, you have to be careful, Scorpio, especially in your workplace environment. People could be looking at you, people could be watching you. And um, somebody could be envious of you or somebody could try to unnecessarily make things burdening for you so just be careful with that see the devil there's that constant um i don't know to me it looks like you both are in each other's mind hmm. and this is something that you both are not really able to let go of so this could be a soulmate connection there is love there's so much love now, one more thing I'm getting for you, Scorpio, is that you want this person to act right. You want this person, if they want to start on a fresh note with you, they have to um, change their ways, okay? Let's see. The signs that are here are Cancer, Virgo, Sagittarius, Aquarius, Pisces, Scorpio, Virgo, Capricorn, and Libra. Okay, let me see. Nothing is yet set in stone. So I see you going through some sort of an emotional turmoil. Feeling all over the place at times. But you have to remember, Scorpio, that things are changing for you. Even when they don't seem to be changing. Things are changing for you. Even when you don't want them to. <laughs> Step out of your comfort zone. Something is re requiring for you to step out of your comfort zone and manifest new beginnings for yourself. We have got show the world the real you. See, you are good enough. So I feel like Scorpio, I see you being in a very closed off energy. It's like you do not want to let anybody in. All right. Check out the link in the description box, Scorpio. It's going to take you to the extended. And in the extended, we will clarify more for the person that you're connecting with. Outcome advice, love notes, and, you know, what do they want to say to you? And advice from the universe, coming up energies for you, general as well. So do check it out. I'm going to be linking it below for further guidance. It's not just about your person. It's about you as well. Okay. Chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attack attack what attraction here like i said you two are insanely attracted to one another stay optimistic about your love life so some of you are like i said i see you being very guarded i see you being in an energy of ugh, you know let's just forget about it but you have to be positive you have to be in that energy to attract it a heart-to-heart -heart conversation okay so i think yeah like i said it's just a matter of time you two will be connecting with one another again
But this time around, honesty is required. Honesty was required before as well. But if you know, if you two are talking after a long time, somebody needs to express themselves properly, right? So that's about it. Those were the energies that popped out for Scorpio. Give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. Check out the link in the description box, Scorpio. It's going to take you to the extended for further clarifications. It's going to help you, okay? Take care and bye-bye.